one of the most important things when you're looking to move across to the UK is looking at your current business, where you're currently operating and structuring your new venture, because there's going to be a risk profile attached to that new venture. So one of the questions we need to explore, first of all, is whether you, you, know, you, you continue to operate your New Zealand company through the New Zealand company in the UK, or whether you incorporate a new entity in the UK. So we'd work with you and guide you around that to make sure that you're properly protecting your business assets. It's really important that you have a director who is based in the UK and that you have a registered address in the UK. It's really important that the shareholders and the directors, in fact, don't actually need to be to be based in the UK. The most important part is that you have a registered address in the UK. That is usually your accountant's office or you can pay online to have registered addresses. Pretty much though, you should be looking to your accountant to see whether or not that's a service that they offer. Depending on how you structure the UK entity and who those shareholders are, um, it's likely that you'll need to have a shareholders agreement governing the responsibilities of the shareholders to each other. With regards to um, shareholders' rights, they have a right not to be unfairly prejudiced which is quite a wide overarching right. So um, it's really important that shareholders, majority shareholders and all shareholders, as well as directors, keep that in mind. It's also important when you're looking to come to the UK that you find a good insurance broker who is able to properly advise you in respect to the insurances that your business needs in the UK as well as considering cross-option insurance or Ankeyman insurance as to what you're going to do if someone who's running the business becomes ill or what happens if one of the, of the shareholders passes away? What happens to their shares? Is it that it goes to their family or is it going to be that it passes back to the other shareholders? If that's the case, how do you pay for this? Um, one of the really important parts is looking at a founder plan, having in place, you know, what are your intentions globally, but also in the UK market as well.